What's going on, guys? Oh, wrong light. Check this out. Got uh, this one. Got I'm terrible night at this. Seven fifty, and then we got uh, this one. These are going to be fun to put together. Anyway, um, just another random blog for you guys. I know, uh, you know, um, you know how I am. I like to at least put out one a week or whatever. Um, just a couple things on my mind. You know, I got, um, <laughs> I just got done looking through all my videos that I have made here on this channel. And <laughs> it's crazy, man. When you go back and look at 10 years ago, how you were and how you are now, it's just mind boggling. And, you know, there's some people out there that were asking me, you know, are you ever going to take those uh, alcohol videos down? I don't because I use that as inspiration not to go back to that. You know what I mean? If I ever get like a craving or... I just want to see how stupid I was. I mean, well, I know some people, some haters are going to say I'm still stupid, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy how, how careless I was with my life. Um, so that's the first part I want to talk to you guys about is just valuing every day that you have. We have a family friend right now. That, and I wanted to talk about this earlier, but I just kind of really wanted to see how things played out, you know, before I started. But if this gal that we know makes it another month, I would be amazed. I mean, she got diagnosed with lung cancer on the 6th of December, and now she's in the ICU with cancer all over her body. I mean, she's not going to make it. I mean, let's just call it spade a spade. It is what it is. I know miracles can happen, and I believe in that. But it's a 0.00001% chance she's going to live through this So, and have a good quality of life. So, with that being said, you know, guys, you can't... We live in a broken world, Okay? Let's just be honest about it. This world is flat out fucked up. There's a lot of shit going on in this world that we can't control, but it's shoved down our throats every single day. Personally, I don't care who runs this country. I mean, I could give two shits less. I just want somebody running the country where I don't have to go to the grocery store and spend $200 every time I go. Or the gas price is up where I'm at here in the Midwest, uh... You know, they're finally around 260 a gallon, which still is not bad, but it's still not great, but it's better than four bucks, you know. So, um, just going back and looking at my videos and realizing, because I was at that age, you know, where I thought it's always going to happen to somebody else. And now the older I've gotten, I'm here to tell you guys if you're that younger man I was, you know, when I first started making videos, not really understanding the value of life, um, you know, those people that are in your life, guys, that you cherish, enjoy it. Because it, to me, it's a scary idea, but, you know, my faith and stuff like that has really kept me on the straight and narrow, but whatever, I'm not trying to make a religious video, but whatever you believe, regardless, at the end of the day, none of us are going to be here one day. One day, somebody's going to bury us, and we have no idea when that day is going to be. We could, I could live another 50 years, or I could live another 50 minutes. I mean, that's just, and Knowing that, I mean, unless you're one of these unfortunate people that commit suicide, and if you guys are the victim of that or somebody close to you did that, I sincerely have condolences. But outside of that, you have no idea when you're going to depart from this earth. And I've decided that, you know, do I want to leave this earth 
with everybody knowing that, oh, I was the drunk? Or do I want to leave this earth knowing, hey, that guy made the most of his life and he did everything he could to help people and stuff like that. You guys get where I'm going. But, yeah. Just to value and listen, I've done it. I've been in the heat of the moment. I've lost my temper many a times with people. I've said some things I shouldn't have said, but hey, I look at it this way. They didn't pin me to the cross, so I'm not perfect, and I know that. But I'm getting to that age now where I can start giving people advice because I've lived it. I've lived a very careless, up till about two or three years ago, lived a very careless life. I mean, I was just not understanding the value of it and not, you know, um, being thankful for just the little things. I mean, just the fact that I can make this video. I mean, millions of people, <laughs> there's, well, I don't know about millions, but there's a lot, thousands of people worldwide, I bet, that can't even get up and walk around like I can. So that's to be thankful for. The fact that my sight is good. The fact that my hairline hasn't receded. Because I've seen people my age with bald spots. Um, gosh, I don't know. The fact that I didn't do permanent damage to my body after all the years of drinking. I mean, that's a miracle. Seriously. I've talked about this many a times, guys. But it's it's if you knew my whole history, it is I should not be here. <laughs> at all. No way. The guy right next to me could have lived the exact same life I did and he probably would have got one chance. But I've gotten 15 chances easily. So I think just valuing what you have is the message in this video tonight. Being thankful for what you have and understanding that to enjoy that time, no matter how bad or it is with your loved ones, or if there's any family disputes, or at the end of the day, <laughs> this family friend of ours, look how fast it, it happened. One minute she was coughing, next thing you know, she was coughing up blood, and now all of a sudden, by whatever date it is, day the 4th of February or whatever, she's... In the ICU with a real good chance she ain't coming out. So that's how fast it can happen, guys. And I've realized that. I could get in my car and tomorrow. I mean, we take a chance. That's something we do naturally every single day, like tying our shoes. But it's one of the most dangerous things. We take a chance, guys, every time we leave our house. We take a chance getting in a vehicle. I mean, we're in a missile. I mean, if you're going 30, 40 miles an hour and you hit somebody head on or you get T-boned, I mean, you you die. I mean, or if you don't die, you get seriously messed up for the rest of your life. And that's a chance we take, I mean, almost all of us. Think about that. Just be thankful. And because every time we get in a car, we take a horrendous chance with our lives. And it doesn't even have to be our fault. Like I said... There was one time I, I was stopped at a stop sign and some gal hit me from 55 miles an hour. And I was just on my way home. And this was years ago, but I mean, geez, <laughs> wasn't even my fault. So that's why when I turn the news on and I see all this stuff about Biden and all this stuff about Trump and all this, that, this and that. and God, when I was growing up, guys, it was just so much better. I know I keep saying that, but seriously, we didn't have to worry about a school shooting. It was so rare. But now it's like a daily occurrence. Didn't have to worry about a third gender bathroom. or <laughs> Didn't have to whatever. Didn't have to. I mean, we could walk down the street and not have to worry about some some psycho or some freak touching our kids or kidnapping our kids. I mean, we, you know, it was just way better. 
yeah, the technology today is all great and all, but <laughs> let's be honest about it. I think social media has destroyed the world, personally. Now, it's ha it has its positives. You can get reacquainted with a lot of people, meet new people. Yeah, it has its positives, but lately it just seems like it, there's a lot more negatives. That's why I don't do any of that. Like I said, YouTube's the only thing I do. Outside of YouTube, I don't do Instagram. I don't do uh, Snapchat. I don't do TikTok. Because to me, that's the dumbest shit ever invented. But that's my opinion. And then... There's a few other things I want to talk about, guys, but I don't want to get to rambling, but that's the message for tonight. Just be thankful for what you have and spend that time with your loved ones while you still got them here. And when you think you got it the worst, <laughs> you don't have to walk real far outside to see that somebody has got it way worse than you. And they're still chugging along. I met a guy who's totally blind since... At birth, he has no idea what the world looks like. He's never seen in his life. I mean, that guy could easily say, oh, you know, moping it and say, what do I got to live for? But <laughs> instead, he's a professor at a college. No shit. And he teaches kids. And he's totally blind. Can't see a thing. So that guy could have it, has got it way worse than I do. Like I said, at least I can see. So... Anyway, guys, that's the message for tonight, and y'all be good.